So in this video, I want to show you how you can add a page to a PDF file on your computer. Okay, because sometimes the sort of, you don't want to add a native notebook page, right, to a PDF. You want to add something else. It might be a checklist that you want to insert into your PDF file that you've purchased or created. Uh, generally purchased, I'm guessing, because if you created it yourself, you could add it um, a different way. But you, it is possible to add a page to a PDF file on your computer, and I want to show you that. But here's the deal. Um, on In the other video, what I showed you how to do, just to clarify, it was to add a PNG template, we're going to call it, because that's what it's called here, and it was inside your Remarkable, right? That's the other video. This video is about add a PDF page, a PDF page to a PDF file, which is like this, like in the video that I just showed you, I used a PDF file, which was the Mindful Journal, um, on your computer. All right, so let's hop over to the uh, to my laptop and I will continue the recording over there. All right. All right, so we're over on my laptop and what we have here is a PDF file and I don't want you to get distracted by what's over here on the right. These are just the files that I have in my freebie hub. The, that's over on my website if you want to grab some freebie templates but um, this is a journal okay so we'll just go to the index right um, let me just change the view to single page that helps my brain all right so if we go to the calendar and let's go to the first of Feb right you're here you're writing and you decide you need to add a page now you can see the grey outline around page 56 on the left here. That tells you that you're on page 56. So does it up here, page 56, right? We want to put a page after that and it has to be a PDF page. You can't put a PNG file into a PDF file, right? This is a PDF file. All right, so over here now I've got my folder open with my file in it. I made a copy of a daily planner page. Now I'll just show you what it is. It's just, again, let me just make it smaller. So this is just a, uh, this is one of the documents in the freebie hub you can grab if you want. Um, it, this is just a page to plan your day on. So if it's open, you can't drag that into a PDF file because it's open in preview mode. You can only drag the actual file. And if you drag it, it's going to take it out of this folder so you, I made a copy first, right? So I'm going to drag it across and I'm going to put it, you can see it's made room. See how it moves? So wherever that space is, that's where it's going to drop it. So I'm going to drop it here. You can see it's become page 57 now. And then there's page 58. Now let's check the hyperlinks. All right, so 1st of Feb, let's go back to the calendar. Check the 1st of Feb, that's still good. Go back to the calendar, let's check the 2nd of Feb. That's still good. So it hasn't affected the hyperlinks. That's because there's a coding that you can't see on each page, right? And it's all linked back to whatever I linked it to when I made it. And let's just check February the 3rd. And so you can see that nothing's affected afterwards in terms of hyperlinks. This page is not hyperlinked now because it wasn't part of the original design and it wasn't, let's go here, let me go here. It wasn't hyperlinked into, you know, these indexes. Let me go back to the index. So these are all pages that I've hyperlinked, right? And the page we've just added now, let's go back to the 1st of Feb, go to the page after it. That is not part of that setup. So this page isn't hyperlinked, but you've added, to, added it. And now you could drag it into your Remarkable. So let me just open my Remarkable app. Let me close that. It's going to open here any second. Here we go. And let me just make that a little smaller. It's a shame the icons, do the icons, no, they don't really get, yeah, they get a little bit smaller. All right. So this is my home folder. Oh, you know what I need? I need to drag this in. I can't, again, I can't drag this as an open document, right? It has to be the file that I'm dragging. So this is the copy. Um, I'm going to Command S, so I'm saving it right now. I'm going to close it. 
and I will open the folder that it's in so that I can show you that I'm going to drag it. Just one moment. Okay, so this is the folder. It's actually still copying. It's still uh, updating the change I made. That's the one that was called copy, if you remember. Let me just click to show you. There, Journal 365, Sunday, 2024, copy. All right, let's click off that. So this is the one I want to drag into here. All you do is you then drag it. Now, I could put it in work. I could put it in home. Let's actually, let's put it in work. Double click on work. Sorry, let me just, ah, I'm trying to make this bigger. There we go. And you can see that it's put it in here. Now let's check out, because hyperlinks work in your desktop app. So if I tap on that, it always takes me to my menu. If I tap on that, it takes me to my um, calendar. If I tap on the first, it takes me to the first. Now let's look at the next page. There it is. Yoo-hoo. And let's just, for the sake of it, I'll just show you. Let's tap on the third. It still takes me to the third. Let's tap on the 1st of June. Takes me to the 1st of June. So we know that works. All right, let me go back to my files. Um, there it is. That is how, we'll get rid of that. That is how you add a PDF page into a PDF notebook and then drag it onto your Remarkable to Use. Hope that helps. Thanks so much. Any love on the channel would be awesome. See you later.